Alright, welcome back everybody to Horizon Forbidden West. We're on our way to his final act. The final mission, I believe, in the DLC. I think there's an epilogue afterwards, but this should be the last mission of this DLC. Uh, let's get straight into it. Is that a thing? Yeah, look at that thing. You're telling me they're not bringing that thing to life? This would be a pretty... Underwhelming DLC if they don't bring that fucking thing to life. We gotta see it. Alright. When Sega gets here, we'll have to find a way to get to Londra. Stop him from carrying out his big plan. Better wait for her at the campfire. I'm guessing that we're, uh... Changing the time of day? You're here. I'm guessing your sister made it back okay? She's with the Admiral's Guard now, helping the last of our people out of Longest Park. Gives her something to focus on instead of brooding over what happened. I hope it helps. So what do you say we put an end to all this? Let's do this. Yeah, it's time. Let's get going. And hopefully not an end to all of this, if you catch my drift. Whoa, wait a minute, where's the yellow paint on those rocks? What the fuck? Okay, so Lonja's probably in his bunker, right? We'll have to get back in there to Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think Laundra's in the bunker. Back at the park, he said he's gonna crush us like bugs. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure he's gonna use that. I don't want to fight it, I just want to see it turn on for a minute. But he doesn't have a reactivation signal to reboot its systems. He needs a more direct connection. You think he's actually inside that thing? It's his only option. We need to find a way to stop it from powering up. There. It looks like it's hooked up to some kind of cooling system. Uh-huh, we found it. If we find a way to disrupt it. It might cause the horse to overheat. Uh... That might be tricky. More machines brought back from the dead? I don't think so. Laundra must have used the horse to make them. We better hurry. Come on. So she knows how to do that, too. Time to get to that cooling system. I'm with you all the way. Uh... Well, well that was close. We'll have to do oh, this. shit. Ready. Hello, Aloy. Looking like you scurrying around down there. Yep. So good of you to make it to our grand finale. Oh, come on. When is the we last time I fucking way. fought one of those things? There we go. Oh, no. I'm guessing that we cannot. Yeah. Those ruins can give us cover. I think he can see us if we stick to cover. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. I don't know how. No, not yet. The game's on story mode now. I think he's lost us for now. Oh, oh, Fucking seriously? Come on, come on. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. I think we're in the clear for now. What are we gonna do if he wakes the whole machine up? It's ancient and slow. We're small and fast. We've got a chance. Well, I don't know if I'd say that, but... Up here. Jesus here we go again. Christ. With corruptors up here, More too? Corruptors ahead. Ugh. I'm going to find you. We could climb up and slip by. Come on. Move along. Where are you? It's only a matter of time, Aloy. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Made it through that one. Come Maybe. out, come out. Keep moving. We'll move this further up the hill. Another arm's up and running. Oh, great. Come on, we better hurry. If anyone wants to fucking wake up, we're in big trouble. Then let's keep moving. We'll have to hug the cliff to get by. Oh, God. Nowhere to go, but up. Like a needle in a haystack, Apple. Have you people invented those yet? It's going to be hard to avoid attention here. A distraction might help. We could charge through. Uh oh. All right, we're charging through. Oh, of course. It doesn't hurt the fucking corruptor. Fucking hell. This was not here before. Uh, whoa, how the fuck did I do that? The fuck are these things? Corrupted Apex Clamberjaw? Okay. Uh got to deal it, with these machines first. Are you shitting me? Where? I said it's sensitive to the shock, right? Come on. All right. Okay. Now to deal with the cooling system. Let's see if we can overheat the Horus with this thing. There's got to be a way to stop its cooling. What are you up to? Maybe my focus can help. What we have here. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Do I have to pull it out? Some kind of heat sink. It might be a way to shut down the cooling. All right. I Zenia. pull it out. You shoot it. Want to do the honors? You got it. Some kind of heat sink. It might then be a do way it. to shut down the cooling. Seika. Want to do the honors? There we go. Jesus Christ. I'll get the other one for you. I mean, not really necessary, but okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Temperature critical. It's working. Emergency heat sinks engaged. Of course. Uh-oh. There goes the Hollywood sign.
What are you talking about? Gotta get up there. Climb one of the legs. Are you shitting me? Holy shit. You're not shitting me. Ouch. Come on. Scaling a horse on the move. Right. Easy. I cannot. This is fucking annoying. All right, go, 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 go. Fly straight. Go. Holy shit. Go, go, go. Okay, wait for it. Go, go. You don't get it. I never lose. No. Come on. Ugh. Got it. That's it. Heat sinks exposed. Time to heat it up. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, fuck off. Move out of the fucking way. Oh my god, this fucking thing is so annoying. There we go. Oh fuck, where's the last one? I'm sure there's one more. Big guys on the move. Looks like Lodra's taking it out into the water. He must be heating up in there. I don't know if I'll be able to keep him distracted. Just do what you can. Am I going out there? Off. This could be our chance. Stay in the air for now. I'll check it out. Uh, oh, we're not done yet. Careful, Aloy. The horse arms are closing in. Uh oh. It's you and me now, Aloy. Time to see what you want me to love. Uh oh. Where do you want me? Stay well, that didn't do anything. Holy shit. Oh, come on. All right, this has got to be quicker.
fuck? Just give me this one. What's going on? Uh oh. Come on. Alright, that one's good. Primary heat sink. Ah. Holy shit, that was badass. Oh god. Got it. Stay got it. I need a pickup. Coming in. Launcher's heading for deeper water. He's underwater. Might have breached the hole. I gotta get inside and find Wandra. Jesus fucking Christ. It's coming to a stop. You can catch it. It's breaking down. Good. Better get in there before Wandra makes repairs. Yep, yep. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Come on, come on. A light. It could be coming from inside. Breach. It might be my way in. Come on. All right, we're in. Aloy, Laundra's bringing the horse back up to the surface. I'll climb up and find him. Mondra has to be wired in to control this thing. That makes him very She's gotta be near the processing Catch cabinet. Catch me front. if you can! You okay in there? Getting there. So you? far, so good. Mondra took a couple swipes at me, but I outflew him. Just Come hold on. on a little longer. Oh, God. I think this leads to the front. Whoa! What the fuck? I want it. Okay. Whatever, I'll go around. Huh? Alright, come on. 
Ouch. Ouch. No, dude, that's not what I wanted. I didn't even double tap A. What the fuck is that? X, whatever. There we go. I don't see another spot to fucking... There we go. Okay, okay, just don't fucking grab that thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. It's like, why is the game breaking now? Has to be wired in to control this thing. And I'm the back down here, son of a bitch. Looks like those vents don't stay open for long. Yeah, whatever. Wait. All right. Hooked up to the processing worm. Destroying it might shut down the works. I gotta get in there. Shitting me. Uh, uh, Damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck off. Why is the shielding not... Is it dropping? Fuck. Fuck you! Ah, oh, get up! Ah! Oh. God, get up! Got it. Orbs down. Now for my spear. Gotta shoot. 
shut this monstrosity down for good. You really do ruin everything. Those were his last words. The fuck? Say, I'm inside this thing's head. Gonna need a quick exit. On my way. I do not remember those things. Damn it! Come on! Hold on. Landing you can walk away from. We did it. <laughs> I wonder what everyone back in the settlement thinks about what just happened. To see a metal devil rise from the dead? Guess you better report to the Admiral and find out. Go on, it's okay. I'll catch up. Don't leave me waiting too long. She wouldn't dream of it. Silence? It's done. Laundra's dead. Excellent. I expect he put up a fight. Yeah, yeah you, you could say, say that. that. He, uh, oh my god, we're the same person. Did he? That couldn't have been easy to defeat. Even for you. I had help from one of the Quen. And I'm sending you some data from Londra's implant. See what you can find out. Londra's personal logs should indeed be fascinating. I'll keep you posted on my progress. With Londra gone, I could poke around the burning shores for a bit. Or I could head for Fleet's End and get back with Seika. Well, I'm sure I know what you really want to do, so let's go ahead and just do that. Yes, sir. All right. Well, what's going on, guys? Aloy, when we saw the Metal Devil rise from the hills, it was as if the time of ashes had come again. To think that two of you defeated it by yourselves, it, it, it staggers the imagination. And that's not even your most important feat, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for returning our lost brothers and sisters. What else can I say but that we are in your debt? You and the rest All of the I world. I is that you give my friend here the credit she deserves for all the risks she took. I would have it no other way. Is he gonna try to take your focus? I was wondering the same thing. Well, he can't. You're gonna need it. I'll show you why. Seika, meet Alva. The two of you will need to coordinate in order to reunite the expedition. <laughs> they have briefed me already. I'm so glad to see you guys. You should have heard the cheer that went up when I told the others here in Landfall that your half of the fleet survived. To find her Alva, it's an honor. Likewise. Well, we can chat about all the details later. For now, shouldn't you two be celebrating the fact that you just took down a Zenith and a Horus? <laughs> Come on. Away with you. <laughs> How are we going to celebrate? Hmm? Yeah, to be honest, I'm uh, pretty terrible at celebrating. I don't even know where to begin. Hmm. Well, I'm a sailor, so it usually starts with alcohol. I think we have some bilge blaze. You know, 
spirits distilled from whatever hasn't spoiled in the ship's stores. Oh. You make it sound so good. Yeah, it's not really for beginners, so you get a pass this time. Okay. <laughs> but there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Meet me back mm. where we first met when you can. Okay? Okay. I'll see you there. Mm. Dude, uh, I gotta say, they're doing a... That's the best acting that they have so far. I mean, it, it, if it's so insinuating everything that so I think it is. Talk. It's good. And I, I know I need to move on soon, but I'm... I'm not really ready to say goodbye to her just yet. Before I find her, maybe I should look for her sister around the settlement just to see how she's holding up. Hmm. Okay, we'll do that first. They are doing an extremely good job, the acting in, in like, the... This, like, unspoken thing between the two of them. Um... It's actually very impressive how subtle it was at first. I'm glad they came to their senses. Um... Jesus Christ, I have to get right in your bubble to talk to you, huh? Hi, Kina. I'm Aloy. We didn't get properly introduced before. Of course. Seika told me about everything you did to bring me back. You must think I'm such a fool. No. Uh... I keep replaying everything in my mind, and I still can't understand how I could have been so wrong. When Walter appeared to us, he really did seem divine. Well, he had a lot of experience manipulating people. Centuries, really. He promised a whole new world, with me at his side. To think it was all a lie, and I fell for it. Look, you've been through a lot. I'm sure it will take you some time to work through it. Just... Try to remember that Seika's been through a lot too, okay? She risked exile to find you. Not to mention death. And I abandoned her. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me. She will. But you might have to work for it a little. I'll do my best. Good luck, Kina. Alright. Where we first met. So, Snake is waiting for me where we first met. Oh, there's no reason to be nervous. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, Aloy, you're so adorable. You must feel pretty good. Got your sister back, your people. What's next for the woman of the hour? <laughs> You're the one who ripped apart a metal devil from the inside. I think you should get a bit of credit too. Uh, maybe a little. <laughs> As for what's next, the Admiral's going to need my help to reunite our half of the expedition with Alva up north. And after that, I don't know. I don't think things will ever be the same with my sister, or my people. You're not gonna sail back with him? I want to see home again. Someday. She's staying. But things have changed. The Quen don't know what to do with me, and I don't know where I fit in. I guess you know what that's like. For a long time, I hated the idea of home. For me, it meant where I grew up, where I wasn't wanted. But the thing is, the last few months, I've realized that home isn't really a place at all. It's more like the people I want to be with. I like that. And, well, 
more and more I've been thinking, I want to be with you. And I was hoping that you felt the same way. Oh, we get the ch we get the choice. I I damn. Uh... Oh, dude. Uh... I forgot that that would like that's happened. That's happened before too, hasn't it? Mm. Damn it! Ooh, ooh! Now I'm pissed because fuck. Um. Hmm. Fuck, dude. Obviously, I mean, I, I, I mean, I figure that her, her care, like, canonically, I don't know, if they have any sort of thing. I wonder if the next game is gonna be filled with all the like, import your save from these choices or whatever. Fucking because what if we never met this person and it's just it's a lot. Obviously, her character has been, like I said, uh, showing in ways that like she has an attraction to this person. So it's very. I mean, to me, it seems very much clearly a yes, I do. Me personally, I'm not a super big fan of this character. I mean, she's not terrible, um, kind of predictable, and I don't know. It's just like it. It all happened very quickly, and I didn't. I, like, uh, there wasn't anything in particular that sparked the chemistry. It just, all of a sudden, I saw Aloy was, like, kind of, you know, um, like, I don't know, eyeballing her. Uh, and, and yeah, it's just, like, for me, I wouldn't choose this person, but it just seems like the way the story has been told, that it should go this way, luckily enough, um... You know, Seika is also attracted to women. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I guess, I guess I'll probably, I, like, I'll go with, uh, yes, I do, but if it would, if, like, if it, I'm saying if it was my choice, and it obviously is my choice, <laughs> uh, I don't particularly like this character, but I don't think that there's another character out there that, uh, I feel, like, particularly drawn to. That I think would fit her better. Um, so I mean, maybe in the third game it'll change. I don't know. They were. I don't think there was any options like this in the first one. Um, so, but I I do think I remember something in the second game being very similar. Or th the second game, this fucking game. Jesus Christ, I'm treating this like it's a whole new game. It's been two fucking years. I'm pretty sure there is another instance in this game, at least one or two, where you have this option. And I brushed all of them aside. I did kind of like Aloy as just like the... <laughs> the Sigma <laughs> of the fucking story. But very, like, very clearly how they told this DLC's story was, um... She's got kind of a thing for Seika. Don't know what it is. Don't know where it comes from. But clearly it's there. And I'm going to acknowledge it. So, here we go. And what if I do... I think I know how to handle it. Whoa. Good for you, Seika. Good for you, Aloy. Yeah. God, this game looks beautiful. Seika. I have a long road ahead of me. I know. There are things I have to do too, but it's enough to know how you feel. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again. Me either. But no matter what happens, just don't forget about me. Okay? I'm sure I probably fucking will by the time the third game comes out. But, um... Knows maybe I'll get a recap. Damn. Wow. Damn. 
damn, dude. Fuck yeah, man. That's good enough for me. I I actually did like that. That that was some that was some good acting. I felt that. I felt that 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 longing of like fuck. We can't we can't be together right now, but hopefully one day. I do hope Seika's in the third game to some degree, and um, you know whether there is or isn't a better fit for. Aloy, I guess we'll have to fucking figure it out when that game comes. I don't think... It's been two years. I don't think they're going to put out any more DLC for this game. Um, not too bad. Obviously, putting it into perspective in terms of like an Elden Ring DLC. <laughs> we're coming from 50 fucking hours. I mean, I bought this on sale for like $13 or something. So, $13 versus $40. If you want to put shit into comparison like that, they're kind of two completely different worlds. And obviously, I'm still... I'm still pretty, uh, I've got some fresh wounds from Elden Ring. Just because it's long doesn't mean it's great. Um, a lot of it was not a good time. This was, it was a pretty okay time. It, nothing really gra like grabbed me to want to do any of the extra shit. If you watch my Final Fantasy series, um, if it doesn't have anything to do with the end of the game, I don't really give a fuck. And uh, it's really hard for me to to play games in a sense, like to, to do all that extra shit, all that heavy, like when the when the main story is so well curated, has all these great cutscenes and shit, um, to, and if, if you've been on my channel for a while, you probably have heard me say this a thousand fucking times, but it's like when you, when you have those main story scenarios and you compare them to these half-baked, like generic, uh, like body language response type deals and and you go on this like either a fetch quest or something or other it just it seems in the long run like it's just not I don't know it's a lot of it's a lot of things to do and I don't have a lot of time to do the things you know I fucking it's not like I I I play I play the games because I want to know what goes on in the story and sure the side stuff would be cool if I was able to experience, like, spend the time, but, like, it's, the, the world keeps on moving, and I, and I, it, the, the amount of time that I can dedicate is only, you know, so much at a time, and I guess what I mean to say is that when it comes to time allocation and in games like this, like, there's so much more shit out there that I could be experiencing that is top tier rather than, you know, the extra stuff that they threw into the game to make it bigger. Uh, in my personal opinion, if you just focused on one linear story and made it m made it the absolute best you could, you don't need all the extra shit. I mean, the RPG elements and stuff, some people live for that kind of thing. Me, I'm solely a, you know, story-based kind of guy, and if you want to make the extra stuff matter to the end of the game, which you take away from the people that are, like, never going to do that stuff, then suddenly they can't get the best... Uh, canon ending that they want just by playing the game so um, oh dude in loving memory of Re Lance Reddick yeah rest in peace man that was uh, the the guy that played Silence fuck I wonder what they're gonna do man wonder if the, they'll still use his likeness and get somebody to imitate his voice or if they'll replace him entirely I don't know but clearly he's uh, he's still in the story, so we'll have to see. But yeah, if you want to, if you want to make all that extra shit worth something in the in the end game, then that that's cool. But otherwise, like um, some of the extra stuff just doesn't fucking matter to me. I I think there was quite an extensive bit that I did in God of War. Uh, sometimes just before the end of the game, if if the game is really good. But the, the side stuff still doesn't matter. Like, I will tire myself out on the side stuff, on the side quests. And depending on how my progression has been throughout the game and if I've gotten a lot of achievements, and maybe I've just got a few here and there left, I'll go through and I'll, I'll spend the time to just wrap those things up, even if it does seem like a lot of extra weight. Um, to just... It, it, it's a little bit of... I hate when people say it's an OCD thing because, you know, it, obviously it's not. But it just... it. 
it does feel like a little bit more satisfying to be able to do that. And that's kind of what happened with Final Fantasy VII Remake um, until I realized that, you know, there's just a few things you can't do without doing it on hard mode. Um, my point being that this was pretty fun. Nothing really wrote me into the extra stuff, but as far as the main story goes, pretty predictable, not terrible, safe bet. Um, there was some, some, I think some points where I was, I rolled my eyes a bit. There was only really one instance where I felt like when I had to get that other power cell that I felt like it was, uh, that like there was filler. So that's, that's actually really good. I didn't, I didn't feel like I was wasting my time completely when, when playing this DLC. So that's, you know, I, f I feel like I do have to acknowledge that because there's, there's plenty of other games out there that would take advantage of, oh, you can't get through this door because you have to do this or that. And um, just to add in game hours, unnecessary game hours. But I do, when I was flying on that fucking, uh, that, that, um, whatever wing, god damn it, it feels so disrespectful. Uh, flying around on that, that robot, <laughs> looking at the landscape, like clearly they put in a ton of effort. It looks fucking amazing. The environment looks crazy. Uh, it's visually so impressive and to not explore it kind of feels like a crime but like i said i'm just not interested in in all the extra stuff i've got you know i've got other things to do i've got other games to play um the, the mechanics were a little wonky on me like the climbing aspect there was a lot of climbing in this i can't remember if the base game had you know as many climbing elements i'm sure it did um but I feel like there was a lot of different areas that I had to get to by climbing, and some of them were just super wonky. Did not, did not respond the way I intended them to. And um, maybe I made the same complaint in the base game. Maybe I didn't, but making it now, yeah, it was a little bit wonky. Threw me off. Kind of brought me out of it a little bit. But other than that, uh, pretty solid. The guy who played. Um, Son of a bitch. The the Zenith dude. Um, pretty good acting. Pretty pretty big head. Uh, and um, yeah. Hats off to that last scene with fucking Aloy and Seika. That was that was uh, surprisingly really good for for being, I guess, that predictable. I don't know. And I'm glad they actually booted up that fucking giant robot, the Horus. Um, can't remember. I don't think we've ever fought one before, but that was that was really really cool fight. As as frustrating as it was, I feel like Aloy just gets tossed around like a fucking rag doll. All the blowback is insane. But um, regardless, I, I did turn the fucking difficulty down after that first fight in in the first episode of this DLC because I just I was not going to take all that time trying to fight these fucking robots. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Uh, you know I like to do it here. I like to let the credits finish out. If there's anything after the credits, of course I'll be here to acknowledge it. But um, I gotta give these people their recognition. And, um, and so I'm gonna let it play out. If... Uh, if you made it to this part of the video, I strongly suggest that you subscribe, because why the hell not? And if you don't want to stick around, you're leaving now. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, that'd be sincerely appreciated. As always, if you do plan on sticking around the channel, uh, I think I've got maybe enough time to throw in another game's DLC before, uh, before uh, Black Myth Wukong comes out. And if that's the case, and you do want to stick around to see that, I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.
Okay. So, while the credits were going on, I looked up to make sure that there was anything that I wouldn't be missing. And uh, there actually is... Um, there's something, there's, there's still one more thing before it's all over. Uh, where the hell's the safe house? Why can I not fast travel? Congratulations on stopping Walter Londra and finding the missing Quinn. You are now free to ex continue exploring the burning shores and complete any unfinished quests and activities. The new tier of challenges is also available in the arena at the Tanakh the Memorial Grove. Thank you for playing the Horizon team. Very much welcome. Now, can Hello. I go, please? With Gaia's help, I've managed to decrypt a part of the data you sent. Suffice it to say, we have much to discuss. Meet me back at the base, then. My room. Very well. That's... That's exactly what I was trying to do. Let's fucking... Go. Okay. Silence is waiting at the base. Beta and Gaia, too. As for everyone else, I should help where I can. Get them up to speed on the burning shores another time. Uh, no, we're going here right now. Silence. You're back. And after mingling with the Quen, I imagine that you're eager for some intelligent conversation. There are some That's pretty fucked. special people among the Quen. If you drop down to Earth once in a while and did a little mingling yourself, you might realize that. I have more important matters to deal with. Like the data you recovered from Londra. You found a lead. Indeed. A log entry he wrote shortly after the Zeniths escaped the destruction of their colony. I'll send it to you. There is much to unpack, but most importantly, Londra theorizes about how Nemesis might be counted. His musings include a list of 21st century corporations that manufactured state-of-the-art weapon systems. It's possible that one of these weapons could be deployed against the enemy. I'll, I'll have to investigate each company, of course, locate the facilities, unearth their technologies, determine their efficacy, and whether they can be brought back online. All by yourself, huh? Well, don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found something that can help. But I've been wondering why you stayed behind with us. That's the challenge, isn't it? The chance to prove you've got the biggest brain of all. My reasons are mine alone. And that's why you'll always be alone. Aloy, Nemesis is not a threat that can be defeated single-handedly. I am grateful for your extraordinary contributions. God damn it, dude. I love silence, man. Rest I'm in peace, silence? Lance. We might thaw that icy heart of yours yet. Now let's see what he found. Dagger in my boot? Uh, Walter Laundra, personal log, The Odyssey, January 16, 3012. The last 72 hours were catastrophic, to say the least. Even more dramatic than my final days on Earth. I'm fortunate to finally have a moment to settle down and take stock of the situation. First, a well-deserved pat on the back for my own instincts. It's clear now that my misgivings about the experiment are the only thing that kept me alive. If I hadn't gotten an early warning from the surveillance where I installed, I undoubtedly would have perished shortly after the containment breach. How, I can only conjecture. Many were lost when the entity vented the airlocks. Others were strangled by hacked specters. Devin Miller choked on his own vomit, suffocated by his personal shield. Ugh. That's disgusting. Um, as disturbing as all that is, it's the voice of the entity that echoes in my mind. I felt a brief surge of hope when I managed to detonate the main plasma conduits in the lab sector. But just as I realized other sectors had been compromised, my, impl my implant reverberated with the transmission. 
First it sounded like my own voice, then a chorus, then a hideous cacophony. Walter, I am you, over and over again. It knew I was going to hit the conduits. How do we stay ahead of our own shadow, that which remembers every thought we've ever had? For now, we run. We'll have to retrofit the ships as we go, acquiring materials along the way to print a faster drive. I agree with Tilda. We must head for Earth as it's the only place we can gather additional technology and biomass to improve our chances over the long haul. Though I'll be damned if I'll spend the rest of eternity trapped with the likes of Gerard Bieri, Eric Weiser, and Verbena Stutter. Sutter. Sooner rather than later, I'll have to find a way to cut ties with this dis detestable crew. All that said, I keep hearing its voice in my head. And when I do, a singular fear grips me. What if it catches up with us? Is there any way to fight it? Not with the tools we have now. It knows them too well. But maybe the answer lies in the unknown. Back in the ruins of Earth. The 2050s and 2060s were a golden age for defense conglomerates. Surely buried among all those testing grounds and R&D labs, there must be a weapon or prototype that will throw the enemy for a loop. It bears looking into. Off the top of my head, some places to start. FAS. Uh, I doubt... Even a fleet of Horus units could halt this foe. But if I know Ted, right before he blundered into ending the world, he was grasping for his next blockbuster. Metallurgic. My erstwhile competitors poured a lot of resources into defense after it became clear they couldn't beat me in materials acquisition. RE Corp. Cheap drones and misfiring rail runs for bottom feeders and pretty autocrats. Uh, but once upon a time, they had a blue chip research division. Certain T. If I recall, they employed quite a few semi-reformed black hats with interesting ideas about military decryption. Gideon. An obnoxious family, to be sure, but they developed a number of state-of-the-art systems before FAS ate their lunch. Faint hopes, all of them, but hopes nonetheless. No question... Our best course is to stay ahead of the monstrosity, this self-created nemesis. But if flight fails, I'm not going down without a fight. So one way or another, I'll need a dagger in my boot. And our old home is the best place to find one. Silence is right. Londra's thoughts could really help us in the fight against Nemesis. <sighs> All right. Well, with that being said, that is the last piece. And we'll have to find out how that fight against Nemesis unfolds in the next game. And you will definitely see me there. Um, but yeah, as I said before, if you do plan on sticking around, I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.